hi this is Phoebe from Artsy Craftsy Phoebe and today I'm gonna show you how I made these uh, personalized etched beer mugs so for this project we are gonna need obviously a uh, beer mug I got this from the dollar store it's nice and solid and cheap so that's good your etching cream I'm using the armor etch your scissors sponge dip applicator a tape and your transfer paper for the stencil that you're going to use i've cut mine using my cricut and i just need to weed it out so i've started reading out my image this is a uh, vinyl and for the uh, truck image, which is fairly detailed, I've decided to do a reverse weeding method, which basically means I'm putting the transfer tape over my uh, vinyl and then pulling the vinyl off. And then we'll weed it out from the back. I use this method uh, mostly for very detailed images because it ensures that my details uh, don't move out of position or worse, I don't take them off by accident. So that's what reverse weeding looks like and as you can see all the little details of my truck are perfectly in place because they're stuck, the vinyl is stuck on the transfer tape. So now we're ready to transfer our vinyl stencil onto the mug. So here's our dollar store mug, nice and solid. So first, we do need to clean it. I use a rag, spray it with a bit of Windex and wipe it down really well. Make sure there's no dust or other particles that would prevent our vinyl from sticking to it. And once we've done that, we are now ready to stick our vinyl stencil to it. As the person I'm giving this to is right-handed, I want the image to be on this side. But if you're giving it to a lefty, then do it on the opposite side. Now I'm just grabbing my stencil and I'm peeling it off the backing paper. And then I'm just gonna position it to where I think is best. You want to make sure that this is as straight as possible. So here I'm just measuring from the edge of the mug to the edge of the vinyl and making sure that the distance is the same all around. Now once you've done that, start pressing down the middle of the image making sure there are no air bubbles and then we'll start on one side press all the way to the edge once again making sure there are no air bubbles on your vinyl and then once you've done that we'll move on to the other side Now you want to make sure that there are no air bubbles on your vinyl at this point because you don't want your etching cream to seep under your stencil once you start etching. That just won't make for a crisp image. 
So as you can see, I'm pressing down on my image really well and even using my Cricut tool to make sure that I have no air bubbles anywhere. So now I'm ready to peel off the transfer tape and I'm doing this very slowly and gently. And as you can see, I'm peeling it by holding it as close to the image as I can. I'm not pulling it up, but I'm holding it close to the image so as not to pull my vinyl out. After this, you would want to press down on your vinyl again, once again, to make sure there's no air bubbles. We also want to make sure that all the little pieces of vinyl, all those details, are stuck well to the mug. So now I'm going to put some tape on the top edge and on the left edge because I don't want those areas to be etched and there's not much vinyl to cover those areas. I'm just using my painter's tape. Now, you don't have to be precise about this, but as always, you want to make sure that there are no air bubbles at all. So now there's our stencil and we are now ready to etch. I'm just going to put my stuff away and get my etching cream and my sponge ready. Now for the etching cream, you should uh, mix this thoroughly before using. And I'm just grabbing a piece of straw just because it's handy. And I'm going to mix it with this straw. And what you're aiming for is a nice and smooth texture. Also, uh, you should be careful when using this etching cream. I believe the directions actually say that you are to use gloves when using this, but I don't have gloves handy right now, so I'm not. Now when your etching cream is nice and smooth and ready, just grab your applicator, put some etching cream on it and gently dab it onto your stencil. And as you can see, I'm doing this gently. I'm not brushing back and forth so as not to disturb the stencil. So just put a little bit at a time. Make sure everything is being covered. And it might seem that I'm 
using a lot of etching cream on this but actually you can reuse that etching cream that you just put in so what you do once you've covered everything you let it set and before rinsing it you can scrape the cream gently off of your mug and put it back in your container and you can reuse that so you're not wasting any of your etching cream and that is why before using your etching cream you want to mix it well and make sure that it's nice and smooth because there might be some solid particles there from when you last used it but no worries it still works you really want to use up every last bit of this etching cream as you can especially because this little container of Armor Edge is so expensive. I think regular price for this Armor Edge at Michael's is like 25 bucks. So wait for a 40 or 50% coupon and buy it then because it's super expensive without a coupon. All right, so just make sure that you cover everything with your etching cream. And once you're satisfied with your work, just let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, I think. I think I wait till 10 minutes, just for good measure. And once it's set, you can uh, start rinsing it. So here are the two mugs that I've done. I waited 10 minutes for the etching cream to set and then I rinsed them thoroughly and now I'm just wiping them off and then we'll see how they turned out. So now we can start peeling off our tapes first and then we can peel off the vinyl. And don't forget to take off those little pieces as well. And voila, there's your finished product. And now I'm just going to wipe this off with Windex again because apparently I missed a spot there. And there it is. I hope you can see the stencil. I hope you can see the etching there. I'm actually pretty happy with how this project turned out. My image turned out to be a uh, nice and crisp especially since i made sure that there were no air bubbles on my stencil at all so here are my finished products my etched beer months i hope you enjoyed my little tutorial and see you next time on artsy craftsy feeding 
Have a good day. Bye.